Hi, I'm Eric, and I'm an application engineer at Infinity QS. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite features in Proficient 4. Dynamic Scheduler makes it simple to ensure you never miss a sample, allowing you and your operators to focus on what's important. In other words, it keeps track of your requirements so you don't have to. Instead of watching me wave my hands at you, let's dive right in and see how it works. This is our shop floor computer. On the desktop, you'll notice the dynamic scheduler is already running. The green countdown indicates that a collection will be due shortly, and the color will soon change to yellow to let me know the measurement is due. And there it is. Of course, if I decide to blow it off, the database is always watching. When I click Yes, Dynamic Scheduler first asks for my credentials, and then opens the correct data entry window and allows me to start entering data. So, I've entered all of the required values, and they're all in spec. When I click Save, I can see the next sample is due one hour from now. Next, I'll show you what happens when I have out of spec data. Here we are an hour later, ready for more data. When I click the plus icon, and I'm still me, I'm back at the data entry window. This time, you'll notice a value is out of spec. <sighs> now I have to collect another subgroup. And the sampling frequency, instead of once an hour, is now every 10 minutes. Now, between you and me, I could also require additional tests or increase the sample size. As long as we have this up, this text can be anything you need, such as work instructions to remind the operator what to do. Well, time's a wasting. I better get hopping and get those samples. While I'm doing that, elsewhere in the plant, emails have been sent to the appropriate people and a sign now displays the new line status. At the same time, other PCs, such as those in the quality lab, are notified that actions are required. By keeping everyone informed so they can immediately respond to problems, Dynamic Scheduler is a powerful addition to your shop floor. Okay, now I have my pieces. And they're all in spec. However, since I had an issue earlier, Dynamic Scheduler is showing me the relevant project so I can see what's happening. My next sample, as you see here, will be needed in about 10 minutes. So, we're now ready for our second sample. And this one is also good. Now everything returns to normal, and our sampling frequency is back to once an hour. Now I might be biased, but I think that's pretty cool. So far you've seen a couple ways where Dynamic Scheduler simplifies your data collection. There are plenty of others, but you get the point. One final thing I want to demonstrate is something you probably use every day. Check sheets. Although these aren't necessarily SPC, they are a fact of life and an important part of your day-to-day -day operations. Luckily, we can use Dynamic Scheduler to help here as well. By requiring the operators to complete shutdown checks, you'll now have an electronic record at your fingertips whenever you need it. So let's see how we can get rid of these once and for all. Now it's time to shut down the line. By clicking on the green area, I can access this workstation schedule. By clicking in the schedule here, I can change the process state to shutdown, after signing in, of course. As promised, here's our new electronic check sheet. When I click Save, as long as all checks are completed, I can see that the line is now stopped. What could be simpler? Now that I get rid of that check sheet, I'm going to replace them all, finally. Hopefully I've given you some idea of what's possible with Dynamic Scheduler and why it's one of my favorite Proficient 4 additions. If you'd like to see how I configured any of the scenarios you've seen today, be sure to check out the video library at our website. For more information about pricing or any other questions, feel free to give us a call. We love hearing from you.